Hey there everyone, this is Danio, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouched. Last time we finished off Bonneton, with one exception. This time we're heading through to Fossil Falls, which has fantastic music. <laughs> uh, the first time we were here we pretty much just did the story, which is like mandatory for this kingdom because it makes everything show up once you've done it. Uh, this time we're going to be trying to get all we can, so we're going to start by grabbing a few purple coins and bonking into this wall like a fool. Uh, there's a bunch of moons just out in the open like this now, which are very easy to get. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Uh, there's actually a shop over there too. There wasn't before. The shop only shows up, I think it's after you've left the kingdom for it to show up, rather than simply completing the story, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, We'll, go to, we'll have to buy a moon at the shop in a moment. Uh, let's have a look at this one over here. This is another timer challenge that might be a bit of a hassle. Although maybe not. Um, basically there's these moving platforms that you just have to ride to get to the moon. Uh, this is looking pretty easy actually. Da 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 da! Yeah! Uh, be careful not to fall in the ocean there. Not the ocean, the, the waterfall. Don't fall down the waterfall. Uh, there's a moon in here. Da, 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 da. Yeah! So this, this treasure chest was actually there the whole time from the beginning, but there, it was blocked off. There were like rocks in front of it so you couldn't reach it. Uh, also, if you do the same moves as you would do for an air dive in water, you do a fast swim, which is pretty handy, and I don't think the game tells you that except in a couple signs and stuff. Like, it's not obvious the way B for swim is. Uh, over here there's a painting. We haven't done any of these yet, but we're going to start now. Basically what happens is the painting takes you to a special place in another kingdom you couldn't otherwise reach, or at least you shouldn't be able to otherwise reach, and there'll be a moon there. So basically um, those moons are called secret path moons, and I think there's ten of them? Uh, this cutscene is basically there to ma mask the loading, I think. Um, there we go. So yeah, it's basically, in theory, impossible to get up to this platform without coming through the painting. Uh, there are some glitches you can use in some versions of the game to get up here, but in general it's impossible. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. Yeah! So the secret path to Bowsette's castle moon there. And we're going to head back to the Cascade Kingdom and keep going. Uh, there is a secret path to the Cascade Kingdom, which we'll be getting to later when we get to the other end of it. Ugh. But for the moment, we will not be getting that. We'll get back to it later. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to swim our way back over here. I can we'll buy the moon next, because we happen to be in the right area. So, um, as I mentioned in the Bonneton video, you do have to buy a moon in every kingdom. Uh, just one, although you can buy an infinite number. One of them counts towards the, like, the moon list, basically. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> so shopping in Fossil Falls is done, there we go. Uh, here's the rock we knocked over all that, all those moons ago. <laughs> here's where the Odyssey used to be. Uh, as you can see, it's obviously not there now. Also, there's a rock here, which is glowing. Uh, there's one of these in several different kingdoms. These are called Rolling Rocks. And what you want to do is break them in half a Z press. <laughs> Uh, basically, you just have to kick it around a whole lot and throw Cappy at it and stuff, and eventually it'll break open and there's a moon inside. I think I should be able to pick it up, but I'm not having much trouble with that. I'm not having, I am having trouble with that, I'm not having much luck with that. Uh, it doesn't really matter though, you don't need to pick it up. Just hitting it like this will still work. It takes a lot of hits though. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Rolling Rock by the Falls, there we go. Uh, there's a Chain Chomp over there. Uh, what you're supposed to do is break that rock there, but in order to get up, but it's much easier. I mean, it's not much easier, but you don't have to use a capture to do it. You can just go around and jump across, and it's pretty, pretty easy. I wouldn't say easier. It's about as easy, because it's not hard to begin with. <laughs> um, I'm also getting the purple coins, as you may have noticed. Uh, there are 50 of them here. There's one costume to be had and a couple of souvenirs. I think we can get all of them. I think. 
Uh, I know we can't get all the moons here because one of them is in that 2D section we had the dino skip ages ago. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, so to get over there, like, that's, that's really, really very close. It looks kind of far, but it's not. See? Easy peasy. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, now, we're going to go up this way, I think. Uh, remember, you may recall we had the dino skip before. You don't have to do that to get up afterwards, even though we still can't take the other route, because these platforms are now here, which can be used to get up there. Without too much trouble. Those platforms, I believe, show up as soon as you've done the story. And I get you up here, and we can go hit the checkpoint over there. And we can do some moons up here too. Uh, there's another timer challenge. I'm going to have a look at that and see how doable it is. Uh, there's also a, bon a Bonitor hanging out just there who would like us to dress up in a cute outfit. So we'll be doing that shortly. Uh, okay, this is, might be a bit tricky because we're going so slowly. Yeah, basically just have to climb those stairs a lot faster than I was just doing it. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's doable. I just need to do it better. First, let's go over here. Uh, there's a moon over here. These platforms are just hovering over nothing, so don't go down there. Um, otherwise, you might die. Uh, just use backflips and cappy jumps to make your way over there. There we go. Ba -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! There's also a couple purple coins there, which is good because we do need a few more of those. I forget whether any of them are in the sub areas. I think they might be a few in the sub areas. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, that bit's pretty easy. Uh, let's look at this timer challenge again. No, my Mario, no. Not what I want. Uh, you can reset the timer by jumping on Cappy, but that's quite hard to do with our current move set. So let's just do it again this way. <laughs> there we go. All right. So yeah, the, basically the problem is that we want to get up here. Oh gosh, I'm accidentally doing ground punch jumps again. Yeah, we want to get up as fast as possible. I think backflips are the way to go, but we're not having a lot of luck with them. I think that's doable, it's just a lot harder than it looks. I'll come back to that in a bit. Uh, there's the moon rock, we're not going to hit that just yet, but right near the moon rock, there's this other ledge here you can just drop down to to greet Captain Toad. I jump for joy, but you know, <laughs> this game is cute. Also, a power moon. Thank you, Captain Toad. Yeah, oh, good morning, Captain Toad. My mistake. <laughs> Um, well, I think you should probably visit Trust Arena next, because that's where I'll be visiting next. So, you know, keep that in mind, because I think it's a good idea. Uh, bunch of chain chomps here. If you launch a chomp into that hole, you just get coins. You don't get a moon, so it's not super worth doing. Uh, over here, there's some purple coins and some more of these hat platform thingies. Uh, this is normally the fastest way to make your way up when you're doing the race so I don't know if it is in this situation or not because of our control li limitations so it might not be the fastest way it's the way I usually go and it works pretty well but it might not be the best way um, there is a moon inside this 2d section uh, which I believe is an inaccessible to us because the whole 2d section is locked off which is a bit sad so, we will not be getting every moon in the game in this run, sadly. We'll be doing our best, though. Uh, there's these little spiky fellows. You just avoid them pretty easily. Not too much of a threat. Uh, up here, there's some more purple coins if you wanted them. I 
think there might be a moon around here too, once you've opened the moon rock, but we haven't done that yet, so there will not be a moon. I fell down, so I'm going to go in this door instead. <laughs> uh, which one is this? Oh yeah, another 2D section, uh, which we can do. We can definitely do this 2D section, which is exciting. Uh, see, when you go into this one, the pipe is sideways. So instead of going straight back down, you're just going to crouch in front of it. And you can jump like this. Also, this is the first time we get to see Mario in a different outfit. Um, if you're wearing a complete outfit, like the hat and the clothes, you, it will show up in 2D, but part outfits don't show up. Which is, I think is an annoying limitation, really. There's not really a good reason for it. Okay, I'm not 100% sure we can do this. Um, this one we can definitely do, that's easy. I say, as I fail, as I fail to do it. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely get up there. Um, to get one of the moons, there's another one of these sorts of ledges, except it's harder to jump up to. I don't know if we can do it without the momentum that you would get by running along the ground, which obviously isn't a thing we can do. So we'll see how we go. There we go. It's gonna get the coins, but who cares. Um, yep, we can't even do that sub area, so we shall. This area's being really nice to us. All of the pipes we have to go in are sideways. Uh, here, you're basically supposed to knock this Koopa down. Not like that, basically the opposite of that. Um, there we go. And then the Koopa will break these blocks for you. Also, yeah, you can't turn around while crouching, which is kind of hilarious. Normally Mario would be turning around as we moved along, but he's not doing it here. Yeah! That's actually our first flat moon in the game. And now we're dead. <laughs> but yeah, I think all the moons here should be doable, which is quite exciting. Uh, there are, I believe... The uh, other one of those ledges just leads to a purple coin or three. So if we can't do that, we'll still be able to get the moons, but I would like to be able to do it if we can. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, this first bit, this is totally doable. Just, we can just bop that Cooper and send it that way. Uh, the rules are basically like SMB1. You can't actually pick up the Cooper shells. I guess is, it makes sense, I suppose. Uh, we could just go through the pipe instead if we wanted, but you might as well go up there because we can. Get some more coins. There we go. Um, we've done that one already. Let's just head this way. Alright, so this is the last area. I mean, the last 2D section in this area. Uh, basically what you're supposed to do here is gain enough height from these platforms to make your way up there. Uh, if we can manage it, that would be good. I have a feeling we can't, because we just can't get enough speed. Uh, let's see how we go. I am holding the Y button right now, which is the one that makes you dash faster, but I don't think it makes a difference while we're crouching like this. Yeah, see, we're not getting nearly enough speed, so we might not be able to get up there. Um, that just leads to purple coins, though, so it's not a huge deal. We still get the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, let's have, just have a quick look around here and see if maybe we can circumvent the restrictions and get over there some other way. Yeah, we can't really use capture mode because it constantly tilts. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can get around there. Maybe we can, though. Oh, actually, that looks doable. That, that looks a lot more doable than I expected. But yeah, there's a ledge around there, which is where we want to get to get the purple coins. Um, I wonder if we can take a shortcut by going this way. Probably not. That looks pretty far. Maybe we can, though. Let's give it a try. Yeah, no, that's not possible. Way too far. But dun dun dun. I'm a big fan of this, the cheer, this particular cheering. It's really good. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, we basically have to redo the whole area here to get back to where we were. Maybe I should put assist mode on just so I get walked back up if I fall. The thing about assist mode though is when you turn it on it actually reloads the area. Like you can't enable it in the middle of doing a challenge, which is a bit annoying. I guess it makes sense, but I think it's reloads the whole area. I don't think it actually sends you back any further than that. Uh, let's try this, like, maybe once more, and if I fall again, I'll try doing it with assist mode. Just to simplify the process of trying again, basically. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's doable. Maybe it can be done the intended way. I mean, you saw how close I got. That was a lot closer than before. That, that was a lot worse. Hmm. Oh, hang on. I can't go through that pipe. But I did before, so is it because I'm facing the wrong way? Maybe? I don't know how to change my facing. Oh, there we go. Um, something I priced made it work. <laughs> okay, I think it's possible to just make your way around the outside here. It's, it looks like it would be possible. It's possible! <laughs> yes! So we can get these purple coins after all. Yeah, what you're supposed to do is get up on that ledge and walk over to it this way. But nope, you can go around the outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so we have everything out of this room. Which is surprising because it's a 2D challenge and you'd think it'd be impossible, but no, it's it's all completely doable. Uh, there's Cat Peach, who is not in this game besides on some walls as a little pixel friend. Uh, let's go get those purple coins up here I was trying to get earlier. Oops. Uh, as you can see, it's not that tricky, but I keep messing it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love to bonk against every wall in the whole kingdom. I think you might be able to get up this way. Instead of coming up the other way, which might make things a bit faster. Yeah, that's totally doable. I said it wrong. Out there. Yep, there we go. Easy peasy. As usual, anything that doesn't involve precise timing is an easy way to do things, no matter how weird and jumping around it is. <laughs> okay, uh, there's another challenge room over here, and it's mostly based on captures, so it should be very doable at, with our current controls, basically. Uh, there are some purple coins here, which I would like, so we'll see if we can get them. Oh god. <laughs> can I get them all? Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, yeah, this pipe here leads to another challenge area, which is based on capturing chain chomps, so I think we should be able to do it without any particular difficulties. Here we go. Basically, it's like chain chomp Precision shots. The, the moon is called Nice Shot with the Chain Chomp. It's like like a hit the switch with the Chain Chomp repeatedly thing. It's not too complicated. Some of the later ones are a bit harder though. There we go. I, I th usually take a few tries on this last on this third one. It's not actually the last one, but it. it it's the last one for the first moon. It, it's it's weird. Uh, okay. I think we want to hit him like that. Yes! 
I've clearly gotten really good at the game, or at least this part of the game. <laughs> anyway, that gives us one moon. Here, which is a nice shot with the chain jump. Yeah! <laughs> but there's actually a ledge over here, which leads to this moon, which you get by doing a bit of another, a more complicated skill shot with the chain jump, basically. Pretty precise. This might take a few tries. go. And that gives you the second moon. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! Very nice shot with the chain jump. How are we doing? There's 25 moons here. We have 15 of them. So we're making okay progress. It's not like super quick progress. Um, the number of moons there, that's before opening the moon rock. Like, it, the number increases when you open the rock. So that's keeping track of what we're trying to do this episode, basically. Need another 10 moons. That's quite a few moons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Blah. Yeah, I survived that. <laughs> the movement options in this game are fantastic. And that was a really good demonstration of that. I was convinced I was dead there, but I was not. I'm going to head back over this way, because on this platform there's actually a couple extra things to look at. Some purple coins over here. 47, and the last three are over there, so yeah, we've got every purple coin here without too much trouble. Although those four in the 2D area were a little worrying for a second. Okay, so this one, this is another capture-based room. Basically, you're going to become a giant T-Rex again, just like when we did Dino Skip. And you just have to smash everything, and that's the whole moon. Uh, I'm a big fan of this one. Uh, yeah, you just kick all these guys over. Uh, I don't know if you meant to break the blocks or kill the guys, actually. Because, you know, you d usually do them both at once. I'm not sure which part is the required part. Oops. Accidentally uncaptured. Uh, I guess that resets the timer, uh, because T-Rex and have a time-limited capture thing, so it's kind of handy to re reset it by accident. I think you just have to kill all the spiky guys, but you might have to break everything as well. Maybe you just have to break everything. I'm really not sure. Okay, you just have to kill all the spiky guys. So that gets you one moon. There are two moons in here, like in most of these little side challenge areas. The other one is down here. Basically, he's got to smash all of these blocks. And there's a moon in that one. Which we will be getting momentarily. And that's both moons for this room. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! And yeah, we get healed up because that's one of the things getting a moon does. And we're done. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! And we're done in here now. That's all, all we have to do. So that should be, I think, 17 moons? Yeah, 17. Right. Uh, we can do the free running. Uh, there's, other time, there's that timer challenge, so that's two more. Uh, we can talk to Peach. I don't know if to open the moon rock for that to happen or not. I don't think we have to open the rock for it to show up. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see. We can come over here and get these last few purple coins. Which means we can buy everything that you can buy in this kingdom. 
which we will in a moment. Uh, I think we can look at something with these binoculars. Uh, let's see. You can look around using motion control or the joystick. Um, I can't use a combination of the two. I find that vertical positioning is a bit easier using motion, but horizontal stuff, because you need to turn a full 360 a lot of times in things, it's, it's easy to use an analog stick. So yeah, you look at the Sphinx up there, the Sphinx drops a moon for you to collect for some reason, doesn't even make a lot of sense. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, okay, so the timer challenge, the um, free running. Uh, I bought the moon already, but we can go buy the other clothes and stuff. Uh, because this one only has 50, there's just one outfit, which is the caveman outfit. Which we will be wearing, because we need to wear it to get a moon. And also because it's super fashionable. So Cappy turns into a dry parabone skull. It's kind of, kind of morbid. Uh, we get the sticker, we get the model, and the trophy, there we go. We can afford all of them because we get all the purple coins without too much hassle. And, yeah, there we go. Mario gets a little beard when he's dressed like this too, which is pretty cute. And yeah, Cappy is now a Parabone Skull. There we go. Uh, okay, so now that we have that, we can get an extra moon just by going back up to the top. I don't think I hit the checkpoint, actually. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, we'll have to just get back up the Just have to get back up there using this route again. Uh, I did think you had to do Dino Skip, but that's because I forgot these platforms were here. I thought we'd have to di do Dino Skip again to get the checkpoint. But no, these platforms are much easier and don't require Dino Skipping to reach. Just gotta do a couple of easy jumps. Skull here. Bounce the way over it, there we go. Uh, I forget whether those chain chomps will give us a moon yet or if we have to wait a bit. A little bit later. Uh, there used to be a life up part up there, but we bet it's gone now and we can't get it. Dino skip prevented us from reaching it anyway, because we don't enter on the right side of the place to do that. Uh, we can talk to Peach here. Thanks for that advice, Peach. Cute. <laughs> so wait, the power moon that fell over the waterfall, how did it get back up here? Hmm. Alright. Anyway, yeah, she's gonna go to Tostarina next, but you can't actually talk to her there until you've done the story, so we may not be able to get that. We'll see. Uh, yeah, a quick look. Uh, I did hit the checkpoint flag, which is just there where I am. Uh, there is a moon you can get by capturing these swamps, but I forget whether it's inside the rock or not. Just start smashing things and see what happens. Yeah, I don't remember where it was. Uh, over there maybe? Missed some coins. It might be that one. Ow. Uh, well that one's a bit hard to reach, so it might be it might be over there. Let's see. And so yeah, you can freak out Peach if you want, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay. Like, I have a hunch it's got to be this one, because that one is really hard to reach using the change rooms, but maybe not. I'm not even sure there actually is one here, to be honest. Um, Wow, 
Wow, I'm taking a lot of hits. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's try doing this timer challenge again, because I'm pretty sure it's doable, it's just hard. Maybe doing it with these platforms would help me? Hmm, hang on. I'm wondering if I can speed things up a bit by throwing Cappy from further away. Uh, that's taking up a lot of time. And we can't turn around. Hmm. I, I'm sure this is doable. It's just really hard. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, the moon's at the top of this big old staircase here. So we've got to... Uh, hmm. See, if we had Cappy, we'd get up there super easily, but the whole idea of these timer challenges is you could do them without Cappy. Uh, we can talk to this Bonita here, who is fascinated by cave people. Yeah, I'm dressed like a caveman. Um, obviously that means I must be a caveman, I guess. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah! I mean, that's pretty cute. Oh, Follow your dreams, cutie! <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, okay, let's give this another shot. Because if I could like triple jump up there, that would be really easy, but I don't think I can. Because I don't have a way to cancel out of the normal jumps I have access to. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, so bonking against a wall actually resets you. So maybe, maybe I can do regular jumps by bonking and then making my way up? Hmm. I don't know, they're play- they're sp they're pe though. They're sp spaced out a bit farther than a, long than a backflip s sequence can do very easily is part of the problem. Oh, that was close. I got close that time. I think this is doable. It's just it's just really, really hard. Uh, let's, let's have another look. So there's a few more moons that I've forgotten about. It's like around here somewhere. Damn it. Um, I might come back to that in the next video. It's getting kind of long. Let's look around for other moons that need doing. First, and then I'm gonna probably cut that off. I think I can hit that, it's just hard. Okay, this. Okay, <laughs> I just broke down that power line, so clearly you can hit things that are way over there. Um, if you get the right positioning, it's a bit tricky. This is just a normal thing, like, I'm not. The crouching isn't affecting this, so. I'm not sure what I'm messing up. Okay, no, that doesn't break. I don't know why. I think it would break. But apparently not. Um, Alright, let's go do the raise because I haven't done that yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I buy a moon already? I think I did. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Yes. Okay, so this one might be a bit hard because it typically involves some platforming rather than just rolling really, really fast, like the previous one. Uh, 
we'll see how we go. Uh, so yeah, you have to get up there at the entrance to the 2D section. You have to go through it, which is really fortunate because that would be a huge problem for our run. Uh, Uh, that's not good. Okay, we're not doing so well here. We are bonking quite a lot, actually. Okay, I'm gonna try going this way, but I don't know if I can do it quickly enough because of the difficulty of throwing Cappy at these platforms. Okay, I came second, which is pretty good, considering how much I messed up, but... Yeah, you can sort of see the route I was going for, but I just messed it up a lot. <laughs> oh, and they give you some coins instead if you don't manage to make it. Oh, let's try this again. Um, I reckon, I reckon a second try should be enough to figure this one out. And where else are the moons I'm missing? I think I've been pretty much everywhere I can. Uh, there's... Oh, I know. Okay, yeah, I think that might be everything, actually. Uh, the timer challenge, obviously, still needs doing. Um, might need to practice that one a bit, see if I can figure out the fastest way to do it. Okay, don't try to go that way, because that's going to slow, slow us down. Um, usually I have to triple jump to get up there, and I don't think we can manage that quickly enough, so I'm not going to try. We are going to go this way, though, because that works out pretty well. Okay, you don't need to actually use these two, you can just jump across like that. Easy. There we go, that's more like it. See, I just reduced my time by like 20 seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think it was 20 seconds, I didn't really check. Um, anyway, Cascade King and Regular Cup, there we go. Okay, let me see, 21 out of 25, so there's the timer challenge. Uh, there's one that you have to do by doing some stuff in other kingdoms. Uh, there's the secret passage. Uh, there's one more that I'm not remembering. Uh, I, I believe there isn't any hint art in the Cascade Kingdom, so it's not that. Uh, we can talk to... There is a parrot around here, which reminds you what one of the moons is called, so I might go talk to the parrot to just get a bit of a reminder. Uh, although it might tell me one of the moons I already know about, which is a bit of a problem with the parrot. They? It? He? I don't know. I don't know. The parrot's name is Talkatu, and the parrot doesn't really seem to have a gender. They're a parrot. Time challenge 2. Yeah, I knew about that one. Um, so what happens is you just look at the list and then you can see, you know there's a moon called Cascade Kingdom Timer Challenge 2, but I don't know where to go to do it. Well, you know where to go to do it. That's the one I'm stuck on. Um, okay, uh, let me think about this. Where else could there be moons to get? I think that Timer Challenge is one of the very few that still needs doing. Um, the arc Secret path leads to there. I'm pretty sure you can't get there without actually coming in through the painting, uh, considering the way it's positioned. There is a bit up here with the Dido, but not till later, I think. I think it's one of the Moonwalk ones. Uh, okay, and there's the one inside the 2D section over here, which as far as I know is impossible to access. Let me just have a quick look and see if there's something I've missed. So yeah, the pipe is just here. You head into the pipe. You mash jump, it's not enough. You still go down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no possible way to get into that 2D section. Which is sad because the like 8-bit version of Fossil Falls music is great. Just like the regular version. Uh, 
Alright. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, it's not a long video. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, so there's the timer challenge. There's one that we have to do by doing a story elsewhere. That's that's two. Uh, there's the one we can't get inside the painting, and there's the timer challenge. That's four. Hang on. Did I count something wrong? Hang on. Secret path, uh, outside story, timer challenge, inside the painting. And there are four moons. Okay, so yeah, the timer challenge is the only one we can currently do. And we're having trouble with it. <laughs> so let's go back up there and have another look. Because if we can do that, that's all the moons that we can actually get at this point. Um, once we open the moon rock, there's more, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's two moons you can get here, which you can only get by doing stuff in other kingdoms. One is the secret path, the other one is a little ongoing story thing where you visit a tourist in various moons, various kingdoms. It's kind of cute. Uh, this part is looking tricky. The other time a challenge was completely trivial, but this one is hard. Uh, yeah, if you could just walk normally, we could just triple jump our way up there, but we can't, obviously. Starting to wonder if it's possible. Um, let me see. Can I get up here while holding Cappy over there? Because that would give me a bit of a head start. Uh, I don't think I can do it for long enough, because I have to climb up here while doing it. Uh, what you can do is put Cappy next to a Scarecrow, then go somewhere else, and then shake the controller and she'll home in and start the challenge. But we can't really do that here because then we lose all our movement while we're holding her in place, and she doesn't stay in place for very long. Uh, I have a feeling this one might be undoable. Oh, oh, that was really, really close. Maybe we can get up there. Let's just give it a couple more tries, and then I think I'll leave it for the next video, because this is already 42 minutes. <laughs> ah, okay, that would have worked. I just had to jump instead of... Ah, oh, damn. Okay, yeah, that's definitely doable. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying a few more times. I should be able to do it. <sighs> Basically, the trick is while you're backflipping, you can push the stick the other way to get a lot, a lot more distance traveled. Uh, but you have to be careful because you'll actually turn around if you do that too much. Oh, nearly there, nearly there. It's got the angle wrong at the end there. Um, one of the problems with not having Cappy is that throwing her lets you change your angle instantly to any angle in midair, which then you can dive in that direction. Uh, whereas if you don't have her, you can only dive straight forward and it's hard to turn. I think I started a bit too far away that time. Yeah, I'm going to reset that one. I can manage to jump on it. There we go. So yeah, if you hit the scarecrow by jumping on it or whatever, it reactivates, like it deactivates and you get Cappy back straight away without having to wait for the timer to expire. Which is sometimes handy. So yeah, basically you just have to start jumping backwards. Really careful timing. And you get... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's doable, that's doable. It's just hard. <laughs> oh gosh. And that, that'll be 20 moons and that'll be the end of the video once I manage to get up here. Um... So yeah, you, you have plenty of time in a normal playthrough, but uh, I'm messing this up really bad. Hang on. Let's reset that one. If I can just, put, maybe just wait for Cappy to come back. There we go. Oh. So yeah, basically, if you have Cappy, crouching in this game is not a big deal, but if you don't have Cappy, you have a big problem. <laughs> See, if I had Cappy, I could have done the dive onto the platform by reversing my direction, but because I didn't have Cappy, I just dived away from the platform instead. Bottle, bottle, bottle. I'm sure 
know this is doable, it's just really hard. <laughs> Let's face the right way to begin with. Let's see if we can... Okay, that makes it a lot faster to get started. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> so they would just game the system a little bit by standing inside the platform facing the right way already and then doing a spinning cap throw in order to hit the scarecrow. Um, you can do a couple of exploits like that by hitting scarecrows further away than you're expected to. Okay, so there's three more moons we can't get here. There's the 2D one, there's the secret path we're getting later, and there's one more we're getting later. And then that's all the A-side moons in Fossil Falls, so there you have it. Wow, this is a long video. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around while I did all of this. I'll see you soon. Or not see you soon, but you know, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed Mario having a nap here in the midst of all these little sprouts. Sleepy, sleepy boy. With a, with a cute skull girl on his head. Oh my god, Skull Girls, that's a video game. <laughs>